anyway, anyway, I got, hey, y'all, I'm back, y'all, it's so surely, but I'm back and everything, and that old home wrecker, oh, uh, Tamika, that's her name, Tamika, that old home wrecker I was telling y'all about, but winking at my husband, and winking at my sugar baby, and, uh, trying to, trying to holler on the being slick, over there winking and blinking her eyes and licking her lips and everything. And I told y'all, I told her about herself. I gave her a good talking and everything. And I put her in her place. Uh huh. But she go, she she went up there at uh, she went up down up there to the uh bingo hall again. And uh huh, she was up there trying to flirt with Tabitha's man. It's a woman that be up there named Tabitha. She uh huh. She a white woman and everything, you know. Oh, uh huh. That Tamika took her old ragged ass on over there trying to holler at her husband. Uh huh and everything. And uh, uh Tabitha beat her ass, y'all. They had to call the ambulance and put her on the stretcher and take her on up to the hospital and everything. They took her on up there to that hospital and everything. And now she up in there in the ICU and everything looking crazy than a motherfucker. And I, I, told her, I told her her day was going to come. I told her her day was going to come because you go, you reap what you sow. You see, uh, how out here trying to mess up people happy home and everything. Now her ass is up there and that I see you and everything. See how uh-huh, that's why you don't mess with me, Shirley. You don't mess with nobody. Uh-huh. And then everything. Everybody been tired of her shit. Uh-huh. And it took that white woman and beat the shit out of her ass. She didn't expect that. I didn't expect it either. I thought I was gonna have to be the one to beat her ass up. But uh uh-huh. Yeah. Tabitha beat her ass. Uh-huh. Yeah, mm-hmm, see, uh, I was watching the fight, and old Tabitha know some of them Taekwondo's and Teen Kwan Chings and all of that shit, she be doing that shit like that, uh, what's that man name be in the movies, uh, Jet Li, uh-huh, she was over there uh, jumping and kicking and everything and all that stuff, she was doing a whole bunch of stuff to that old Tamika, beat her ass up, and I uh, uh, got her up there, up there at the hospital now. Uh huh. And told her. That's what her ass get. That's what her ass get. Uh huh. I'm thinking going on up there and bring her a card or one of them get well soon cards. You know I'm going to talk some shit. You know I'm going to talk my shit. Uh huh. I mean, Miss Shirley love to talk her shit. Especially to that old home wrecker. I know, I got some words for her up there. I'm uh huh. Going up there, take her her get well soon card and talk me up some shit. I'ma tell her about herself again. I'ma say that that why your ass got beat the fuck up. Nah, honey, and you didn't think that white woman had it in her, did you? Uh huh. She whooped your ass. Uh huh. Trying to holler at her husband. I bet she won't do that no damn mo. Bet she won't do that no damn mo up there. Uh huh. Yeah, she ain't no real hoochie mama. She can't be in our crew anyway. I done told her. She, uh-huh. We don't do trash in our crew and everything. She's a home record trash woman and everything. And, uh-huh, and, uh-huh. And Tabitha then took out the trash and whooped her ass like I like it. And beat her up real good. And now she gonna shut the fuck up, quit winking and blinking and trying to Put her lips all on our man and everything and all of that. Get her old uh, dusty ass on some damn well. A uh, dusty, that's what she is, a uh, dusty. Anyway, I, I want to tell y'all about that shit was wow. Well, y'all should have seen it. Uh, y'all should have seen it, y'all. Yeah, y'all should have seen it. She got whooped around every which way, left and right and all of it. And everything and everything like that. Uh, she talking all that hot shit like she was going to whoop Tabitha ass. Mm-hmm. She go talk all that hot shit. Talk about she'll whoop her ass and a white girl can't fight. She was talking hot shit. And Tabitha beat the shit out of her ass and everything like that. I said, oh, there she go. 
She ain't flew from one side of the parking lot all the way to the other side. Tabitha the beat her ass, dragged her all around the parking lot by that ragged ass damn wig. I don't know how. Yeah, she must got that wig super glued on her head because she sure was dragging her and that damn wig didn't come off yet. I said, damn, and everything like that. And old Tabitha was just going on and on and on and on and on and on and everything. And finally, uh -huh, finally, they broke it up and everything, but it was already too late. Uh-huh. It was already too late for a home wrecker. And she had to get on the scratcher. Uh-huh. They the old damn lamps had to come take her to the hospital and everything. Now she up there in that ICU looking crazy. Uh-huh. I told my husband about it and everything. And my sugar baby, everybody was laughing and everything. And then she finally got what was coming to her ass. It took a long time and finally somebody then got her ass on the damn uh-huh, got her her damn, got her what she deserved over there, being over there fucking with people all the time and she, uh-huh, cause she got one of them smart mouths, uh-huh, uh-huh, and everything like that, and everything like that, and finally her ass is up to uh, learn her lesson, don't fuck with nobody over there, now she in that old I see you looking crazy. Yeah, yeah, guess what, guess what her ass get over there, guess what her ass get over there, everybody got Tabitha back, everybody got Tabitha back, Tabitha didn't go to jail or nothing, we all pretend like, we, we, well she once started anyway, I ain't gonna even say we pretended, we just told the damn truth, uh-huh, Tabitha was defending herself, cause that old crazy wench, she the one who was over there fucking starting every damn thing and being uh harassing and everything like that and everything. So Tabitha didn't even go to jail or nothing and everything. Yeah, uh huh. I ain't got no, I ain't got no time for that old home wrecker bitch. She ain't gone somewhere, gone somewhere with them ugly stockings on she was wearing. She had some ugly raggedy ass stockings on her legs looking ugly. I said, Lord, she can't dress for nothing anyway. Anyway, but anyway, it don't, it's all good now, y'all. So yeah, I want to tell y'all about that happened the other day and everything like that. Uh-huh, and everything. Everything been good with me and my husband and me and my sugar baby and everything and we just over here, you know, still on the gravy train and everything. I done told her, told y'all and everything, everything. Uh, old Betty, she over there with her sugar baby. They still together looking good and every happy and everything and everything like that. And old Susie still happy. She's a big player from the motherfucking Himalaya. She got her, she got her about four sugar baby now and everything like that. I got some more news for y'all. I got me a new sugar baby add to my collection. Now I got two of them and everything and everything like that. And everything like that finally got me another sugar baby and everything. I said I was up there, went on to this party. Oh, uh, the Susie invited us to a party and everything like that. And I met me a new sugar baby. And, uh, y'all, guess what? Y'all ain't gonna believe this and everything like that. I got me a girl, a female sugar baby. Now, I got two sugar babies and everything like that. Uh-huh. Then, uh, -huh. Susie and Betty called me a freak -a leak and everything. They said, um, I'm, they said I'm a hot, I'm a hot hoochie mama and all of that. I said, Lord, don't y'all start getting me started, because y'all know once y'all get me cranked up, I ain't gonna come down and everything like that, because I was turned all the way up and everything like that. And, uh, huh, and, uh, my new sugar baby, she was uh, twerking and everything and dancing and all of that and everything. And I was throwing all my damn money on her 
and everything like that, and everything, and everything, but anyway, I don't give a damn, I don't give a damn, I'm a hot poochie mama, and I can do what the fuck I want, I got me two sugar babies now, told my husband, I got me two of them now, he need to catch up, and he just got one, and everything like that, well, whatever, anyway, uh, my husband going to talk about, we ain't no competition, I said, whatever, Catch up, slow poke. Anyway, uh huh. Anyway, but uh, I got my new sugar baby. She fine, y'all. Mm hmm. She fine and everything like that. And everything. She just, uh huh. She real, real fine and sweet, too. She's a sweetie. I was like, okay, uh, she she didn't have her sugar mama before. But see now her sugar mama, she she from out of town, so her sugar mama is all the way in another state of other sugar mama, but she don't really talk to her no more. So she gonna get she got her new one now. I'm her new sugar mama and everything like that. But anyway, so uh we just been over here just delivering it up on the gravy train and everything and being our hoochie mama crew. And everything like that. Uh, we don't, we, we, we just, we grown over here is what I say. Uh-huh. My chillin', my chillin' they ain't got shit to say anyway. Uh, somebody gonna ask me what my chillin' think about what I do. Don't they send me a message. Somebody put a message in my, in uh, my DM. And my DM's on the fake book. And everything like that. And uh gonna ask me what my chillin' think about me having sugar babies and everything. I say, mind your damn business. That's what the fuck they think. They mind their business. They my chillin' grown any damn way. Okay? And they mind they business, cause guess what? You know why my chillin' mind they business? Because I taught them how to mind their own damn business. That's how I know. That's how I know. Because my children know how to mind their own damn business. Because they, they, uh-huh, uh-huh. Because my business don't pay them shit. They're not going to get paid from minding my business over here. Uh-huh. They, they, uh-huh. They mind their own damn business. I can get the, get the noses out of my shit. That's what I said. Anyway, and whoever did that, that old poppity poppity face looking motherfucker sent me that old DM message, I can shove it right up they booty hole and everything like that. Because I don't give a damn what they put in my damn message box. Because I just delete the message any damn way and block them. Block and report. I report that motherfucker to the fake book. And I blocked that motherfucker. And now they can't get on there no more. They in the Facebook jail now. And everything like that. So I don't give a damn. Anyway, yeah. Gonna try to send me some damn messages. Being smart. Trying to be a smart ass. I tell you what. You didn't graduate with a PH3 and an MP3 and a DVD. You better get your ass out of my inbox unless you, unless you come in to put some money on my cash app and everything like that. So I don't give a damn. So that's what I said anyway. So, uh, yeah, they going to stop uh, trying to tell me Shirley and the Hoochie Mama crew how to live our life and everything. We live it how we want to live it. And that ain't got nothing to do with them anyway. Anyway. Uh, ain't got nothing to do with them. They, got, they, they over there being all nosy. Putting their nose up in Miss Shirley business. Won't know what color panties Miss Shirley got on today. But that ain't none of their damn business. Uh-huh, my two my hoochie man. Both of my hoochie man and my hoochie mama, they know what kind of panties Miss Shirley got on. They know. 
And that's all that matter. Anyway, I'm done, y'all. I got some shit to do today. I just want to tell y'all all the good shit, give y'all the tea and everything. And uh, I'm spilled all the tea now. Y'all can go on about y'all damn business. I got to go by, y'all.